Need a high-resolution portable music player with spatial audio, but don't want to carry around a boombox from the 1980s? Soundcore by Anchor has you covered with their new Motion X600 portable speaker. That's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. Hi guys, this is Tony Liotta from Audioholics, and today we're going to be looking at a unique little unit from Soundcore, the Motion X600 portable speaker. Now I've reviewed other Soundcore products like their Liberty 2 Pro earbuds, and I have to say I'm pretty impressed with their technology. So I really was interested to see what they could do with a bigger unit like this portable speaker system. All right, so looking at this unit, the outer body is made of stainless steel and the handle is made of aluminum. So it does uh, create a bit of weight. It is uh, at just over four pounds. Um, it does come in three colors, polar gray, aurora green, and this color right here, the lunar blue. Now the speaker is IPX7 rated, which means it can withstand immersion to three feet uh, for 30 minutes in water. The weakest point being uh, the charging port right here and the aux in. Now it's hard to believe Soundcore packed five drivers in here, two woofers, two tweeters, and a full range up firing speaker for what Soundcore calls uh, their spatial audio. The Motion X600 is Soundcore's first speaker that decodes high resolution LDAC sources, but this is for Android only. So if you're looking for Apple AirPlay, you're out of luck. With the advancements in Bluetooth 2.0 and the size of the speaker, this might not necessarily be a deal breaker for most people. Now surprisingly, the small portable speaker is powered by three separate amplifiers for a total of 50 watts. 20 watts for the left speaker, 20 watts for the right speaker, and 10 watts for the upfiring speaker. Now it does come with a nine band, controllable, customizable equalizer. Uh, you control it through the Soundcore app and it does have four preset choices. These include voice, treble boost, balanced, and Soundcore signature, which is the default when you turn the system on. Now after playing with the equalizer for a bit, I would just leave it on Soundcore signature and forget about it. So I've used the Soundcore app for other Soundcore products and I found it less than optimal. Uh, it doesn't come with Spotify or Tidal and any other streaming options. So unless you're updating the firmware or messing with the equalizer, there's really no need to use the app. Now the X600 comes with a 6,400 milliamp hour internal battery, which is supposed to provide 12 hours of playtime at 50% volume. I ran it for about six hours and still had plenty of battery left. So I don't think battery life will be much of a concern for most people. All right, interesting thing about the X600, you can buy two of these and you can link them together wirelessly, but although they will play stereo in itself, they won't play from stereo from one speaker to the other speaker. Now I had about two weeks to play with these and I found it to be a very capable little portable speaker. It is about 4.2 pounds though, so it does have some heft to it. So if you're planning on taking this to the beach with a bunch of other stuff, you better plan on some extra weight. Now, speaking of the beach, we talked about its IPX7 rating, and that means it's waterproof, but it doesn't mean that it's dustproof, dirtproof, or sandproof. So if you're going outside with it, you do have to be a little bit careful with the, the outside uh, open areas. So when you turn the speaker on, the default setting is with the bass boost and spatial audio off. Uh, the speaker really sounds flat when you first put it on. It's almost all treble, uh, something I'd expect from a $50 speaker, not a $200 one. But when you turn the bass boost on and then the spatial audio on, it really expands the sound of the unit. All right, so once I got the bass boost and the spatial audio on, uh, I started playing music off my iPhone. So I started streaming from iTunes and the speaker sounded good. It sounded larger than I expected. But when I played songs that normally would be in stereo, I really didn't hear any, any change from left to right speaker. I didn't hear any really expansive sound. So that was a little disappointed, even in a small unit like this. 
Now, the speaker handled uh, bass, treble, mids really well. I um, cranked up the volume, and although the, the bass really got a little bit mushy uh, with the larger and louder volumes, uh, it never really broke apart or bottomed out. All right, so one of the, one of the songs I picked uh, to try out the spatial audio for the X600 was Pink Floyd's Bunny. The beginning scene, I mean, it really should show the left and right sides of the speaker, and I just really couldn't hear it. The X600 doesn't decode uh, Dolby Atmos or DTSX, but I was hoping for some kind of stereo sound. So I thought, let me switch to a different streaming service, and I switched to um, Amazon Unlimited. Now, I played the intro to Money again, and it, and it really made a huge difference. Um, the cool thing about Amazon Music is you, when you put a song in, it not only tells you what it's capable of streaming of, but it'll also tell you what your device is capable of playing the song in, and it'll tell you what the song is actually playing in. Now, even at these levels, I could hear a substantial difference in the separation and soundstage over this traditional SD version of the song I was playing. So I tried other songs like Led Zeppelin's Whole Lot of Love, and I found the same results. When it was SD, not a whole lot of separation, no spatial audio, but if I went to HD or even Ultra HD versions of the song, it really opened up the soundstage and, and made it for a pretty good unit. Now, overall, I, I really enjoyed my time with the Soundcore Motion X600. Well, guys, if you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to check out our Patreon channel at patreon.com slash audioholics. You get access to all the reviewers here at Audioholics, including Gene himself. So until next time, my friends, keep listening.